Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, yeah? In today's video, we gonna talk about Forex, about FTMO, about knowledge, about risk management, and all that good stuff, yeah? So let's get right into the video, guys. If you don't know who I am, my name is Nick, I am a Forex trader, and I'm trying to pass the FTMO challenge, yeah? So let's get right into the video, guys. Uh, so basically, I'm trying to to pass my FTMO challenge. The previous one has been a pretty damn dip at the start, but then I managed to to get it back here. I was hoping that they're gonna provide me like unlimited time, but unfortunately, that it wasn't the case. And I'm still trying to pass my FTMO challenge in 30 days, so let's see how everything goes, yeah? I start my start my challenge, I had no, literally no drawdown, I was going pretty nice up, and I went to the point where I was 3% up, yeah? And then from there, I was kind of like getting my losing streak, and I was going down, 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 down. I get to the point where I had like a thousand one percent and then I was kind of moving up and now I'm back at two point two percent up yeah uh, I got 81 consistency score yeah I got eight trading days I had uh, and let's see on my um, my metrics yeah so basically let's see all my Results, yeah. So I had here some good winners, yeah. And then where I was gonna show you guys, and then here and here I had my losing streak, yeah. But look what type of losing streak I'm talking about, guys. You see, here basically uh, is like a lot of red position, it's just because I was risking 0.5 percent, which is 500 dollars, yeah. But if my position, it was a losing position, yeah, that's the beauty of uh, risk management strategy, yeah, you cu you're cutting your, sh your losses short. So that's why I did, if you see here, yeah, I was cutting like uh, short, you see, minus 137, 132, 95, 133, 142, 274. This one, it was a huge, a huge loss full total it's just because i was a i wasn't at the computer at that time so i literally took full t uh, full stop loss but then again i was keep managing my position then i had the one winning one to one and then yesterday if you check my previous video i had that beautiful win so i went back to i went back to 2.2 so it's not that bad. I got my risk to reward ratio 272, which is not really the correct one, but it still is a good one. And then 41, 41% win rate, which is pretty awesome. And I'm, I'm still profitable with that strategy, yeah? That's why I need, because for example, right now on the 13th of September, my FTMO challenge is gonna be done, which I got like another two weeks to trade, yeah? And uh, which is hard because um, to be honest, I don't really trade every single day, yeah. So everybody knows how I trade. I trade support and resistance, and I try not to predict, yeah. So let's see what actually I was planning to to do today, yeah. So basically, if you're checking the daily time frame, yeah. We had a beautiful retracement and we kind of break this structure, yeah? We closed above this structure, yeah? Yesterday, we weaked below this and then we moved up, break this high, this high, and even this high. Sorry about that. This high, this high, and even this high. And it closed pretty bearish. Uh, sorry, pretty bullish, yeah? So what I was planning today is this candle to have a deeper pull pull back into this zone maybe to this week or maybe somewhere into to those zone from inside so when I jump right my five minutes time frame here where I'm taking from 
I was saying here I was saying here a zone yeah let's just put it this way this was the edge high then I saw this zone which is the London low and if you see in here this crazy resist uh, support and here is the resistance it was and then break retest and moved up yeah so today I was planning day to, to pull back somewhere into this zone or this zone and from here to take a short yeah I even put a I even put a if you guys don't know I go on my free telegram channel where I'm um, where I'm um, putting all my analysis and some sort of ideas how to trade and what I'm doing basically so basically if you check in today yeah I had like for the GBP JPY here two trades to take it out from but that was an Asia I was sleeping and when I wake up out of London session everything was up and literally but this was actually a risky trade though just because they the previous the previous day didn't took the previous day low so let's just see what I'm talking about to understand the reason why I'm saying it was a risky trade yeah so let's go on into the daily yeah so basically who was moving up yeah and let's see what happened actually yesterday yeah yesterday it was a bullish uh, sorry bearish move yeah it was a kind of pin bar all the stuff yeah but the reason why I'm saying is the risky is just because if this price action would to take this low then I would consider this to take sales today but unfortunately that wasn't the case you see they they hold this low so they didn't broke this uh, the previous day low they they broke the previous day high and if you check in here you can see push pull back push pull back and then push and then pull back yeah so that's the reason that I'm saying it's a risky trade yeah so that's what happened here from here it just took and took this previous day high then tomorrow if this this daily candle we're gonna close something here or here or wherever yeah tomorrow I'm still gonna look for buys it's just because if they if they holding this low but they already broke this high and if it close bu bearish bullish sorry bullish then then I'm gonna look for tomorrow for buys on GBP JPY on the on the euro USD it was a beautiful day to hold these highs and I was expecting the bigger pullback but unfortunately it wasn't the case they just ripen up and they broke this high maybe maybe they will still got the potential to come back here because I would not say this is break of the highs yeah and what I would my gonna expect here is just to pull back into this zone and then to break all these lows here is kind of like double bottom and here is the London low here is the Asia low so most likely if it comes here they will sweep all these lows and then from here I'm gonna jump into a buy to, to run these highs these highs something like that that's gonna be my plan for the euro USD but that's if and that's if it gets to the point where at the start of New York session only because after 10 11 a.m. New York session then then the volume is going down and there is not that many that much volume to push the, the price back up so yeah guys that's kind of my plan and we'll see how everything was gonna go guys I don't know basically I don't really get that many views but I don't know the reason why or maybe people they don't sing these videos I don't know why YouTube doesn't push but if you sing guys this video just just like the video so more people can see so who knows maybe those videos we're gonna we're gonna change some people's trading and how I said everything is about risk structure and risk management it's not only about it's not only about um, trading like 
blindly like to open the position put the stop loss take profit and forget that's not how the way how I'm trading it just because it doesn't work for me I don't know maybe it works for somebody but definitely is not working for me yeah for me I like when it comes here and then push back and everything is fine but if it gets back here if it gets here 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 then most likely it's gonna come to this zone yeah so that's the kind of tips why I'm trying to suggest you if you think like it gets here and if it gets even lower yeah and you still by you seeing here like the the weeks yeah when the how is it called the the candles when they're closing they go like huge weeks then fair enough don't don't stop the trade yeah but if like closes below and then retests and then moves and breaks the next the previous flow then most likely it's gonna hit this this zone so try to cut the try to cut the losses here here and then here so that's why I'm doing because I'm risking 0.5 yeah my my position would stay like that yeah and I would I would enter like like that so that's like 1.77 that's nice it's just because you know at the end at the end of the day if it gets here and then from here moves up I'm making like 1.77 risk to reward ratio yeah but if it goes down yeah I'm risking 0.5 percent from my hundred thousand account which is five five hundred dollars so from here if it gets here I'm taking 50 percent off then from here to here I'm taking another 50 percent off from what's left from this position and then I letting run everything until it hits my stop loss and if it hits my stop loss yeah I, I losing on this position I'm risking five hundred dollars yeah if it goes up I'm making like what let's say one two seven seven let's say I'm making almost a thousand like eight nine hundred dollars yeah but if it gets here I'm losing only three point three hundred and fifty dollars so that's like point thirty five only no point five but point thirty five which is pretty nice because I'm still saving like hundred and fifty dollars of loss instead me of losing that I'm literally saving that so I had like four days of losing streak now count how much I saved by hundred and fifty dollars so I was risking five hundred dollars on every each trade for trade for trades and I saved by hundred and fifty I saved almost one trade only because only to cut my losses short simple as that and when you get like a winning streak yeah you're just making huge rewards rewards huge profit so that's my tip for you guys you ha you must manage your open position because otherwise you're just gonna you're just gonna lose money because it doesn't really matter what people telling you and whoever mentor you got and whoever trades for you or whoever provides you the signal I'm gonna tell you right away that guy or that person they don't know they don't know where the market is going they don't know it's just because you saw some some nice videos like that they driving a Lambo and stuff like that that's not a successful trader the successful you know the reason why he's that successful just because he's selling the um, the signals either the courses to you and you paying for that but you are still aim profitable and he is aim profitable you get it I, I'm not saying I'm not saying everybody is unprofitable but what I'm trying to say is have you seen like his portfolio like my FX book like for years no no you haven't seen because nobody will gonna show you that you get the point so most likely that guy or that person it just makes money on selling courses and selling you the myths of trading how to get successful and if you're gonna because he shows you the the forex the traders lifestyle yeah and you want the same yeah but he's selling you this illusion he doesn't sell you like the the actual way to trade because by my experience yeah you can be successful trader trader only only you by losing trades and 
get the experience of to be a successful trader otherwise i don't believe in all this stuff like somebody will gonna sell you a course and you're just gonna transform into a successful trader i don't believe that i never bought a course but some of my friends they provide me courses and um, when i when i checked all those courses i understood one thing all that stuff is actually free on youtube but people they keep paying for that only because you seeing my videos like I'm rich and I'm driving a Lambo and you know I go I got a lot of subscribers and people like yeah yeah you changed my life and all this stuff and you kind of try not to believe yourself like if you're gonna buy this course then you're gonna change your life but unfortunately that it won't be the case because what's gonna happen you're gonna buy the course yeah you're gonna try maybe one or two trade was gonna work but then you're gonna hit your losing streak and you're gonna get back down where you was and then uh, and then you're gonna gonna lose your confidence to trade you're gonna be afraid to open the position and then at the end of the day you're just gonna revenge trade and all, do all this bullshit because that's the psychology of trading yeah you, when when you hit your losing streak that's bad that's bad for the traders it ends up very bad so what i'm trying to tell you is just because you must open an account and not even not even a demo account open a live account but don't put like thousands and thousands put a hundred dollars guys so you're gonna get the experience of trading the real money it doesn't really matter there is a one percent like a dollar per trade two dollars per trade you are not here for now as a beginner to make money you are here for now to to make to get the experience to be a trader because otherwise without experience you won't get to the point imagine how you're gonna and even all those crazy risk to rewards don't believe in all that stuff because the psychology your psychology you won't be able even me even me i'm not able i'm saying a lot of times man i have to hold it but when i'm into the trade yeah just think logically i had like four position of four days of losing streak yeah i'm telling you my experience i'm sharing only my experience let me just make this this uh, oh sorry What I'm saying, guys, is just because uh, by my experience here, for example, I had that simple example that you need the experience of to be a trader. It's just because me personally, me personally, yeah, I had a four days of losing streak. I don't know why. It just, man, the for example, first week it was like beautiful. I didn't lost none of the trades, and I had a small loss. But that was like $88 and you know what was funny because first day it was a winning day, second, third, fourth and the fifth one um, it was going in, into the drawdown and I cut 50% loss and then moved up and I made even more than when I, when I lost. So basically it still was a profitable day, yeah? But then next day, uh, sorry, next week what happened to me is um, I opened a position, yeah? And then... and. I kind of was getting so confident into my strategy and the way how I'm managing the position, you know, and I'm like, yeah, cool, I'm a profitable trader and I'm Gucci. So what happened? I'm hitting a SL first stop loss, second stop loss, but I'm still was managing perfectly the position. First day losing two two trades a day because my plan is like that. I'm risking one percent a day on two trades so 0.5 per trade yeah two trades a day which is one percent and i'm trying to cut the losses short so am i gonna lose a day like 70.75 percent or something like that and uh, what happens what happens i would say 700 dollars so that's like 0.7 i'm i'm losing if something goes wrong but first day i hit two losses second day i hit two losses third day i hit two losses and then when i get to the point when i had a winner day 
a winning day yeah I couldn't hold like to my TP it's just because I was like man come on like literally today is the day when I'm still profitable like not that much but still I'm getting back like one to one I was up one to one yeah and I was seeing like man these candles they don't have no more power and it was after 10 11 a.m. New York time Eastern time and I was like man there is no volume anymore into the market so why am I gonna hold this position open because it won't get to the point so I closed the position and one to one yeah so basically the result is I had like four losing days which I was hitting the stop loss yeah and when I went to the day when it was a winning day I couldn't hold it because I was thinking like in my mind that's why I'm talking about psychology because when I was thinking about man if if I'm not gonna close this position and if just in case it's gonna reverse yeah I'm still like five hundred dollars in profit I rather take that but if I'm just sitting like that and hoping that's gonna hit my DP yeah but if I reverse and hits my stop loss again then I'm losing like the fifth day so one week of losing weeks every single day you get the point guys and that stuff is so unpredictable and it's gonna happen but you have to deal with all that stress you know you have to deal with and it doesn't really matter how many times how many videos you won't watch to all of them gurus you won't make it it's just because this person yeah maybe he knows man i'm seeing right now we're reversing it doesn't go my way and i don't mind to close my position literally uh halfway of my stop loss i'm closing the position yeah because the reason why i'm saying that i was checking the a video literally yesterday oh, from duel exchange yeah and uh, this guy he he trades the the supply and demand yeah and it, if you're checking the last his video where where he made like twelve twelve thousand dollars on, on one position yeah he had his bias yeah he opened the position but then straight away everything was going n not his way so everything was going against him and he just literally cut the losses right away he didn't wait for too long but then he opened another position which it wasn't on his plan it was not on his plan on his bias literally counter trade trade he took it and he made that 12,000 so that's why I'm talking about guys here is nothing about strategy here is about experience and how you can manage your risk because if somebody tells you like man uh, for example this is gonna be uh, your demand yeah and you just focusing I'm gonna take 100% out of this demand yeah the price action comes here and then provide you like a small push but then then breaks through the lows yeah and you're saying like yeah I predicted everything this was my demand I took a, I took a long from here it pulled back but then you didn't make nothing after that you just opened the position and you just was watching how you was losing money that's it that's what you was doing but instead of that yeah if this but why don't you thinking this way if this demand will hold yeah it just will gonna smash right away to the TP because that happens that happens that's happened a lot of times and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about you have to take trades not only not not to push trades like like that because for example yeah let's just take a random point where it literally works yeah where it literally works For example, you're saying, man, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take the, for example, I'm gonna, let's just say it this way, yeah? You're taking this, uh, this order block, yeah? So, if you get here and you open the position, yeah? You went straight up, everything is nice, yeah? So, you know this stuff, it, it happens, yeah? made made a resistance a small bearish candle then
push up and then coming back to retest this kind of demand or support or whatever yeah but just let's think look oh my days let's just think logically oh my days man let me just take mm. oh my days yeah so for example on this particular yeah you was thinking whoever yeah and you was thinking this is the support or this is the demand yeah and I'm saying man I'm gonna take a trade from here yeah but then you have to manage the position and you're gonna ask yourself how you're gonna manage the position yeah if it closes into the zone then I'm gonna look like suspicious about this trade yeah if it closes with a big week then it's fine so that's what you're gonna expect yeah because you know this this stuff happens into the market yeah so what actually happened here yeah you open the position for example yeah here yeah you put your stop loss right here yeah or maybe or maybe you enter right here yeah and you put your stop loss underneath this candle yeah and this candle break this uh, this previous candle low or high and it went straight to the TP and you made 1.39 and you Gucci yeah, you made a profit so why don't you look for this type of setups to happen because if for example you, you're checking let me just put it like the last if you're checking this position yeah here came here push small small uh, small rejection then coming back gets even deeper into the zone so why don't you just close the position right here because it doesn't show you like touches and go straight to the profit look at these candles they are weak candles you just must you just better to take and just close half the position or maybe close full the position and just wherever but that's what he did yeah he started he opened the position he went up a little bit then the price action was going down and he was like nah that won't work for me and he just closed the position and the seat and he closed it like what in two hundred dollars uh, loss or three hundred dollars low or something like that but then the other trade yeah that he, which it wasn't on his bias he literally just uh, took it and went went down basically he took a sell and the price action just went down straight through the all the demands and all the stuff wo which he was planning to take from and and that's I'm gonna tell you was that that's only the experience guys that's only the experience so yeah guys think about it because the trade the trading is is not only the strategy here is the psychology here is the experience and skill and that's it for today and see you guys in the next video I'm out